Good morning, Kendall Kids, and welcome to your Thursday, February 4th, and today of all days is National Optimist Day. Uh, This is a day celebrating people that are more optimistic, that have a good outlook on life, and considering this last year, that might actually be really helpful. Uh, So optimism, be the opposite of like negative thinking. You're, You're thinking about positive stuff, you're trying to figure out ways to look on the bright side to find the silver lining. Uh, so you might be that person who says that glass is half full. You might realize that those mistakes are just getting you closer to actually getting on target with what you're trying to do. Uh, you might not be lost. You might just be taking the scenic route, or just like me, you might not have burnt dinner. It was just uh, Cajun style. Anyway, there's a lot of cool uh, things in life, a lot of great uh, points that I can make about mistakes leading to wonderful things. Um, the art making of Jackson Pollock, where he splatters and splashes what looks like mistaken strokes on uh, paint canvases, leads to beautiful pieces of art like Deep Abyss, Autumn Rhythm, and simply Number 5. And if you're wondering if, oh, that doesn't really seem like great art, remember one thing, that last one, Number 5, sold for $140 million. So, you know, there's that. But it led to a whole artistic movement of abstract expressionism, with artists experimenting with what would happen if they just tried to express their feelings through the elements and principles of art. Really cool. It also, talking still on the art topic, led to a scientist who invented a new color, the color mauve, which is kind of like this, uh, you know, uh, pastel purple, uh, was actually accidentally created by an 18-year-old chemist named William Perkin uh, that actually ended up leading to a bunch of other discoveries in uh, dyes that were really kind of cool. So this is one of the first synthetic dyes to be able to actually make some beautiful colored clothes. Um, And he actually won the Nobel Prize for it. So (laughs) a little bit of an accomplishment there. Plus, we get to look extra snazzy now with this uh, mauve color. So talking about looking snazzy, please put your hand over your heart, find the flag in the room, and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hey kids, quick note before we get into our lunch menu, which is a reminder that we are looking for acts of kindness. If you experience any staff members, students, or teachers or teacher's aides who are committing acts of kindness, please find a teacher, ask for a colored slip of paper, and write down what that kind act was. Uh, Once you've written it down, drop it off outside of Miss Markham's room. There is a basket to drop them in. And what's happening is the Elementary Honor Society will be making sure to take those papers and try to incorporate them into a large display of those kind acts. So, you know, hopefully we can fill up an entire wall, and I'm hoping you guys can show off different ways that you have been kind. Okay, kids, let's talk about food. Today we are looking at a turkey sandwich, look at that style choice, along with chicken nuggets, another great ensemble, uh, roll, toss salad, dressing, sweet potato fries, mandarin oranges, and milk. I also want to point out I love sweet potato fries. So, uh, getting into what's going on for the weather today, well, guess what? It's going to be a warm one for a change, much warmer than it's been recently with a high of 38 degrees, plenty of sunshine, uh, low, still uh, relatively warm and 28 degrees from what it's been. So enjoy that weather today. It's going to be nice outside. Tomorrow's going to be much of the same, a little less of the sunlight, a little bit lower of a low. And then we're back to the colder weather on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We're actually looking at a potential dip to some deep freeze cold weather all the way into the teens uh, coming up in the next week or so. So just be prepared. That may or may not happen, but it's looking like that's the weather trend right now. But today it's going to feel like it's going to thaw a little outside. So enjoy the warm weather while you're out there. That also means that obviously... We are outside for recess today. As long as something doesn't change drastically with the weather, it is an outdoor recess. Get uh, a chance to get some of the energy out there. Um, But remember, you still want to make sure that you're wearing your jackets, your boots, because it'll be pretty wet, and your gloves to keep your hands dry and warm. 
So let's end our announcements on that proper note, that Kendall mission statement, the mission of the Kendall Central School District to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a terrific uh, Thursday, almost a Tuesday there, and uh, remember to stay colorful, Kendall.